Ford has a solution for their oil consumption issue, but it's not a solution for yours. Coming up on this guy's garage. guys garage like and subscribe welcome back to this guy's garage today we're talking about the oil consumption issue on the current 2018 and 19 model year f-150s before we get into that hit the subscribe button ring the bell notifications and uh, you'll be glad you did because we'll keep you up to date on this issue so so the fix for this oil consumption is uh they're gonna reprogram it, which ain't gonna do nothing because an engine that's using oil cannot be reprogrammed to not use oil. It's a it's a twofer. And I'll explain what I mean by that. So at the same time they're reprogramming your engine, they're changing out your dipstick. Ford solution to their oil consumption problem is to add an inch to your stick they're going to add an inch to your stick now normally adding an inch to your stick might be a good thing but in this case as long as there's liquid on your stick they're fine with that they're happy with it as long as they can tell you that, you know, it's, it hasn't, uh, it's within normal measures on the dipstick. All right, so let's talk about this ruse that Ford has going on right now with the oil consumption issue. This fix that they have going on right now, I wouldn't be so suspicious of it other than they're doing a reprogram or a reflash and they're changing your dipstick at the same time now this is really important if you already went through the oil consumption test because your stick has been marked so over my cold dead body will they be pulling my dipstick they're not at no interest to my stick they want to take your stick away so you know exactly how much oil you you're using they want to they want to take that power out of your hands, the oil, the power of knowledge. So, this ruse, this bait and switch, this bluff, is only that. They just want to get you out of your warranty. Now, if you went to your dealer and you've been complaining about this issue, this issue, there's not a whole lot you can do. Just got to follow it through. From what I've been told, they're not going to fix your engine till it stops so here's what a uh, adding an inch to your dipstick this is what Ford's betting on Ford's betting on that between oil changes you're not going to check your oil and that as long as if they change the stick the stick is going down further into the oil pan so when the stick goes further down the oil pan the chances of oil being on it are good now these are interference engines and interference engines are great because they're efficient but you have to maintain them now for telling you that it's okay to run these engines two liters light on oil is ridiculous i can tell when my truck goes down a liter of oil because it gets noisy so maybe the best thing to do is just let it eat if you, if you have one of these trucks check your oil now, I'd be a little leery going in and complaining about it because I can tell you what complaining about it's going to do. They're just going to bluff you, do a flash update, change your dipstick, Bob's your uncle, done. See you later. Go away until your truck's out of warranty. And by taking your truck in and complaining about it, the Carfax report will devalue your vehicle. So maybe an option is to trade it in if, if you can get the black book value for your truck 
and uh, you're not underwater, it might be time to get out of it. There's the other option. Don't complain, don't say anything. Get your service records backed up. Go to your dealer, get your oil changed. Make sure you got the records because it's gonna be a fight. Get the records, get the records, get the records, get the records. So, you gotta have good oil change. If you got good oil service records, if you've been taking your vehicle back to the dealer and it's going through oil, They ain't gonna put an engine in until it stops. Now, I'm not about to do any sinister shit to get get this engine changed. I just want them to do the right thing, but I can't tell you not to. You know, it's it's ridiculous. Pissing on my leg and telling me it's raining. They're pissing on your leg and telling me it's raining. So So as far as the oil consumption issue goes. Let it eat. How many bad puns can I get out of this? They can pull on my stick and tell me it's raining, but it ain't happening. I'm on my way to the dealer, and I'm getting this sorted out once and for all. There's a solution to this problem. Thank you for joining along again, and don't be cheap, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, watch another video, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. This guy, hey. Is this the cure to my uh, oil consumption issue? Maybe so. It certainly sounds better than my number, though.